Hey everybody, uh, it's Joel from Alter Media. Today we are proud to announce Studio Suite XI V5, uh, also known as 11.5. It's not a major release, but we have seven pretty decent features uh, we want to tell you about that are included uh, in this version. Uh, the first one is a completely new version of WebGlancer. Uh, we call it WebGlancer Pro. Uh, it's got more modules uh, to be able to view, uh, and the best part is uh, now allows editing of the key data. So this is going to allow your editors, engineers, uh, those kind of people uh, to be able to edit their time uh, on projects uh, and so let's take a look at that so here I am in Chrome uh, and I'm now logged into our new web glancer pro uh, you can see right from the home screen here that I can see my events I can also see my tasks there uh, and if I want to edit one of these suppose uh, my five o'clock uh, thing here uh, of course I'm running late so I'm going to change that to six o'clock and I worked until eight uh, and the status was bumpable but I did it anyway stayed late uh, confirm that, and we'll see that that change uh, is taking place there now. Uh, it's also getting reflected back in Studio Suite. Uh, same kind of thing can be done over here in the uh, tasks area. And as I mentioned, we have more uh, modules available. So if I want to go take a look at my equipment inventory, I can do that here. I want to go take a look at some of the details of a particular piece of equipment. It's all there. Uh, if I want to go look at uh, a project or the details of a project, I can jump into any one of these. I can see all the details of it. Uh, as well as uh, make any kind of change. So if I want to change any one of these, I can do that as well. So lots of new stuff there in the web glancer. We're pretty excited about that. Uh, next up is a favorites picker uh, for the main menu of Studio Suite. So that looks a little bit like this. People have been telling us, you know, we want an easy way uh, to be able to control what modules are visible here in the main menu. So we added a new button. Uh, edit favorites and from here you can just turn the modules you like on or off I'm going to turn off a bunch so we can see uh, save that and now we've uh, got a lot less modules showing if I want to get them back I just click select all uh, save and now all of the modules are back so nice and easy don't have to dig through uh, security uh, to get into all of that uh, the next thing that we're looking at is uh, AICP and AICE style budget summaries from within projects. So take a look at that. Here is a project I've called AICE budget, very creative. And um, used to be able to do this, uh, but now we've added a new row here, the summary row. Uh, and this is where we can get in and manipulate uh, the budget sections and importantly, the budget codes. This, what, this has been there, but it's been kind of hidden. Uh, but what we've added in this release uh, is the ability to see uh, basically your typical summary sheet um, here. So here we've got the items. Here's our budget, which we can just type into uh, random numbers. Uh, the actual is going to be summary of actual line items with the corresponding budget codes and the variance. And of course, we can print this out as well. So if I go print this, uh, I'm going to be able to get your standard AICP or AICE budget uh, template. Here's that summary page on page one and so on uh, throughout the rest of them. Next up, is barcode scanning via iPhone. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I am in a uh, Stu Suite project uh, called Barcode Booking, and I'm also using an application called Reflector to display my iPhone, uh, and I'm actually really holding this iPhone in my hand. Um, and what I'm gonna do, uh, you'll see we're on the same project on the phone, and I'm on the barcode tab down there, and what I'm gonna do is essentially touch on that scan barcode here field. It's gonna open up the camera, and real quick it just uh, scanned that barcode, and you'll see that it added uh, those two items. Next up is uh, export to QuickBooks Online from Macs. Uh, so if you aren't using QuickBooks Online, you might want to check it out. It's pretty neat. In the past, we've only been able to do that from a PC, uh, but now we are able to do that from a Mac. I don't have a demo of that for you. Just take our word for it. It works. Uh, another big news here is that we are now compatible with FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Server 15, which inherently has quite a number of speed improvements. Uh, so we've got now improved speed, and also uh, along with that comes compatibility with Mac OS Sierra. So there we are with uh, the seven new features of uh, Studio Suite XI version 5 or 11.5. If you want more info or pricing, uh, please give a ring in to the numbers you see there or an email to sales at studiosuite.com. Thanks for watching. We look forward to talking to you soon.